getting started with the Lufatong. beautiful people and welcome to a brand new episode of the Super Falcon Show. Now my name is Osera Me in Negbenebo, for those of you that already know and for those of you that don't know, well now you know. The show is proudly brought to you by the number one telecommunications company MT. And, uh, and on today's episode, it is no different. We're bringing you a step closer to the Super Falcons and reminding you know, of things past. Now, on today's episode, we will be talking about a woman that is remembered for her speed from the wings and, of course, her super crosses. And by this time, I'm sure you already know who I'm talking about. We're talking about Stella Umbachu. Have you ever wondered what she has been up to since she hung the boots? Well, on today's episode, we get to find out. But first, we go on this quick break and we will be right back. Welcome back to the Super Falcon Show. Now, just before we went on that break, we were talking about Stella Umbachu and all the notable things that she has been up to since she hung her boots. But just before we bring you all of that excitement and all of those interesting clips, let's take a look at Uche Nakanu and her teammates at Tigres Feminil celebrated after winning the Mexican League. watching at the Super Falcon show. Now, if you're not following us across all our social media platforms, I don't know what you're doing. Remember to follow us across all social media platforms at MTNNG on Instagram and Twitter. And of course, on YouTube is at MTN at Nigeria. And definitely follow us on our very own social media platform. That's Instagram and Twitter, Super Falcons Show. Now it's about that time for us to talk about this woman, this superstar who goes by the name Estella Ombacho. She's been up to a lot lately and she's currently coaching the Heartland Queens. 
in this segment, we reminisce with her and, you know, she takes us uh, through her journey so far, what it's been like, how it started, and what it was like actualizing her dream. And she tells us who her most uh, difficult defender was uh, playing against. Are you curious? I'm just as curious. So let us find out. My journey in football, I don't think I, I can be able to analyze all, but let me just get it brief. I started my football in my village with Adiki Bevers. Yes, the man is late now. He's the one that formed the club. But before then, I was playing with my brothers at home. So one of the boxing coach then, you know, then we have sports council. Sports council is always located, always located at the local government. So the man saw me when he was passing by and saw me playing with my brothers. He approached me, he said, you know how to play football. Can't you come to the stadium and join the female playing? I said I will come, but I don't have chance. But any day that I have chance, I will come. I did not go. Second week, I did not go. The third week, the man reminded me again. Came personally to pick me up. I said, okay, go, I will come. Let me tell my mother so that my mother will release me after school. I will be there. So, one fifth day, in the afternoon, I was less busy. So, I just went to the stadium to see what they are doing there. When I there, I saw the players, saw everybody. The coach asked me to come and play. Then, I don't know what to do. I, I, I didn't wear anything, just with their food. Then, I entered to play. From there, the man just said no. I will play football. When I joined the team, I wasn't playing with the team because I was in school. When I come every weekend, I just train with them. By Sunday evening, I go back until after my school. Then I sign for reverse engines. After I signed for reverse engines, after one season, one and a half season, then I went to Calabria. From Calabay again, I came back to Rivers Engine 2002. From 2002, when I came back from Rivers Engine, after, after the second World Cup in the United States 2003, 24, I went to China to play my international. Career. Yeah, let me say, defender, the harder defender have already faced was Kike Lomajai. She was only one that always gave me serious marking in our days. When she was with uh, uh, Jagede Babes. When she played with Jagede Babes, then I was with Pele Casta. Later, came back to Rivers and Even in the national team, even when we are in the national team, Preparing for AWC or anything like work up. She's the only defender that will normally know how to track me down. Normally not to have mark me. She's always there following me up and down. When I look back, because then fo fo uh, female football wasn't wasn't like that. I can't say I really uh, admire any striker there. It's only for the main team. The main team then, the person that I always admire her. Normally, plays if you need the judge. I admire if you need the judge the way he plays, the way he pull up ball, the way he runs. Because my major <coughs> win was outside right, normally calling number seven. So that's where I play. I always focus on him whenever he's playing his club side and also in national team. So he's the only striker then I normally admire. really enjoying that conversation but sadly we have got to go but do not worry the conversation continues and next week and Stella Umbachi will get to tell us about her debut at the 1999 World Cup the Super Falcons a best performance at the Mondial till date and remember that you can catch the show on MTN's IOBA app and it airs on NTA 9 a.m. every Tuesday 
that's the much we can take for today. My name is Osereme Inegbenebo, and I will see you in the very next episode. Bye for now. <laughs>